Hello guys and welcome to this first video in a long long time. It's been over a month since I last uploaded and mainly because it's been the Christmas season and I've been looking forward to Christmas and my birthday was also in this um, month. Um, I, I turned 18 on December 22nd so you know, I was looking forward, to, looking forward sorry, to all of that type of stuff. So I haven't really thought about my Xbox or uploading or anything but you know it's all over and done with now so I'm going to go back to um, my, my routine that's making videos and uploading them to YouTube. So um, let's go straight into the squad builder. In goal I have a guy called Bizarre. he's basically there for the chemistry. Most, I'm going to, I'm saying it now, most of this team is basically built around chemistry and how the team is going to play because you know I've built it all around one player so I've had to build it around his play style. So basically, he's just there for chemistry, but he's actually a half decent goalkeeper, brewing for 850 coins. On left back, it is a guy called Monzon. This guy is actually a really good left back. He's got good all round stats, probably for 900 coins. And like, I actually did not expect him to be as good as he is, but he is. Left centre back, we have a guy called De Mayo. He's got good pace, defending, and heading. He's six foot three with medium high work rates, brewing for 1,100 coins, and he's a really solid centre back. Uh, right centre back, we have Raphael Toloi. Tolo? Tolo. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but you know, he has good all round stats. His pace lets him down a bit, but um, makes it up for, you know, decent work rates and his height. He's six foot one, so, you know, he's quite tall. And I, I only bought him for 900 coins, and he is worth 900 coins. Uh, right back, we have Marcus Rocha. 84 pace, 81 dribbling is why I look. Is why I brought him basically. I thought to myself, he has to have four star skills. I, I didn't look at his skills, but he only has two star skills, which is a bit of a letdown. But he, he's a he's a really good right back. He's got good pace, dribbling, defending, and passing. He's just an all round decent right back. At left centre mid, we have a guy called Allen. He's there to make up for my Cam and my centre mid because he's more of the defensive player. He has medium high work rates with good passing, um, pace, dribbling, and defending. His shooting lets him down a lot, but you know I only brought him four thousand coins, so you can't really complain. At right centre mid, we have Rosane. This guy is the silver Ramirez. Pace, dribbling, defending, half decent passing, high and high work rates, brought him four thousand coins. He's just a workhorse. He's up and down the pitch. He's everywhere. He's just so, so good. At Cam, we have Mike Consuel. He's the ex-gold player, ex-five-star skiller, ex-machine. He's ex-everything. Now he's just a mere, he's just a mere mortal. He's just a mere Cam who's silver. But my God, this is a card and a half. He's got 77 pace, 70 shot, 76 passing, 82 dribbling. That feels more like 92 dribbling. But I played two. I played two games with the team. He scored one goal, and that goal was a screamer. I picked it up just in front of like the halfway line, and I just, I, I just crunched it, and it just flew up and out. It just dipped, dipped at the right time. He, he actually hit the crossbar and went in. It was such a sweet goal, and that is why I love this guy because his long shots. It's like one of those cards where his long shots are like, you know, the look half decent, but they're actually like really good long shots, and you know, his passing and everything else is just really, really good. A left wing, we have Juan Manuel Iturbe. This guy has been passed around quite a bit. On FIFA 13, he played for Porto. Well, I think it was Porto. And he played for a Mexican league team. Now, and now he's here. I mean, he, how old is he? 1993. That makes him, like, what, 20? He's been passed around more than fucking a Nelk at this point. But um, <laughs> this guy, he's really, really good. 91 pays, 800 dribbling, 4-star skills, 3-star week foot. And I brought him for 2,900 coins. Oh, and Mike and so I brought him for 3,200. But um, Juan Manuel Iturbe, he's just a good all-round player and he's there for the chemistry, basically, and for his left foot, because his left foot is on the left, so he can cross it in. And he's a really good um, left wing. A uh, right wing, we have an, he's just an insane player, and that is Neguba. 88 pace, 82 dribbling. Right footed on the right is why he's there. But I, this guy, when I first looked at this kind of thought, yeah, he's just all about pace, his ball control, but this guy is actually a good all-round player. Played two, um, scored one, assisted two, and those two assists and um, why he's there. Um, but that one goal, same again, it's just like Mike on Sewell, 60 shot, you think he's like, nah. But, you know, I looked at his in-game stats, his long shots, I'm just, you know, they're not even half decent. But I just crunched it, and it just flew. I mean, it just flew. It's like one of those cards where his long shots, same as Mike on Sewell, his long shot, shot pair, and all that just looks really terrible. But when you come to shoot with him, he's actually really good. And, you know, that one goal was just a cruncher. He's... He just hit it first time, it just flew up and, well, dipped over the keeper. And that is why I like him. But moving on to the main man of the team, and it is informed Luca Tony. And this guy, 
I'm 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 speechless about this guy because this guy is just insane. This guy is insane. Thirty seven pace, I think, is why. So like for a silver in form, fifty five k in my opinion is really cheap because most silver in forms who look half decent tend to go for a hefty fee. But I think the reason why people don't go for him is because of his pace, basically. Because his all-round stats look half decent. Good shooting, good heading. If his pace was in the 60s, he'd be worth a lot, lot more. But considering it's, it's less than 40, that's why no one goes for him. And I thank all of you people who ha have avoided him because of his pace. Because if it wasn't for you guys, he'd be worth loads. Cause the more people who use him, the more people... That I'm going to spread the word and say, oh, yeah, use him because he's this and this and so and so good. But I'm, I'm calling it now the best card I've used on FIFA 14 and one of the best cards I've used on any FIFA. Because on FIFA 09, this guy was insane. On FIFA 09, this is going back years now. On FIFA 09, he was just basically the same as that, basically. He was all about his heading. But I think on like FIFA 09, he had like 72 pace, 80 odd dribbling, 80 odd shot, like 90 heading. But um, this card is just insane. This card is just... It, he's in game stats. I'm going to read out a few in game stats. And don't quote me for this because I'm not 100%. I know what his, these stats are. They're around about what I'm going to say. But, you know, they're not accurate. So I'm just going to call out... His, I'm going to say his in game stats on why I bought him. His first one is a six foot four. If I ever use wingers in any like, if it's a four three two one or four three three or four three three four five two three, I always go for a big target man striker. And I have used his standard card, and his standard card was good. But when I saw that his inform card, I thought I have to use it because his stats have just improved so much. Six foot four is insane with eighty seven heading as well. That's just that, that is the ultimate player. But his in-game stats, he's got like 91 strength, 92 volley, 91 of finishing, 90 odd penalty, 90 odd shot power. This guy's just the ultimate target man slash hold up player. He's he's just insane. One of the best cards I've used on the game. He's only 55k, so he's worth it. He really is worth it. He's played two, scored three, assisted two. Those two assists have actually been from crosses. I haven't been in a goal-scoring position to head it in. So he just takes it on like his chest and he lays it back to like the cams or the centre mids or left wing or right wing who's on the edge of the box. And it, it's a goal. He just... Oh. He's got 82 ball control, so you know, his first touch is... is, is it is good, but his dribbling's diabolical. But... I, I can't put my finger on why he's so good. He just plays so well and he's worth every single penny. So I recommend to all you guys who watch this to go out and buy him because he is insane. But that is the squad builder. If you do like the look at the team, go ahead, go ahead and build it. But if you don't like the look at the team, keep the main man up top and just change the rest of the team around him. But you have to use it as a lone striker because if you use him with... Two up front, the the faster striker will just you you will over you'll you'll shine over him basically, so you won't notice him as much. But if you use, use him as the lone striker in like a four three two one or four three three formation, he will he will show up. He he will he will do wonders for your team. But that is the team. If you do like the look of it, go ahead and build it. And this has been me, Wilksy. If you did enjoy this video, leave it a like and subscribe. Peace.